I know. It's not a great day. I'm sorry. Look at the weather. What do you want me to say? Do you want to go out and get wet? Or do you want to stay here in the war? What do you want to do? We could play cards. I could cook us dinner. We could have a beer together. What do you say? High five? Good boy. Beer it is. So, we are in Njort. Um, about an hour and 20 minutes above Cognac, where we may be heading for. But as you can see, I've got a hat on. Um, first time I've worn a hat on this journey. It's uh, about half past eight in the morning. Raining again all last night and the temperature has dropped. Luckily we're at a site, uh, again, fantastic. Everything is free, plugged in, heater on. Just the facilities, again, outstanding. And I think it would make sense, although I want to do a lot more wild camping, off-grid camping, mainly for Koa. Oh, excuse all the noise, hold on. As I was saying, that was a load of joggers out on their morning run. It's Sunday. Um, Koa, this way. Uh, he's got himself wrapped around a tree. So, yes, joggers on a Sunday morning run. Um, as I was saying, I think whilst the weather is wet, cold and cloudy, as much as I want to be off-grid in the countryside so that Koa can run, it makes sense to make use of all of the free air service stations that are around. And there's so many of them, I can literally drive anything from half an hour upwards and be at another one. There's just so many. So it's just fantastic. So I think that will be the plan for the next three or four days. Um, we are heading for a farm, um, which is um, also a winemaking uh, farm. It's family run and I found it on park for night and you can park for free in the vineyards and they will give you a free wine tour and tasting whilst you're there with no obligation to buy. Of course they want you to buy it, I will probably pick up a bottle just to say thank you. But really looking forward to that, that's, uh, that's probably in a couple of days time actually. But anyway, let me show you where we are, Njort. It is wonderful, castle, cathedrals, churches, beautiful old town. Again, the buildings, half wooden with the beams. And as you can see, we're currently walking alongside the river. Uh, Maybe the Loire again, not 100% sure. But uh, spectacular location. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the next few days, the weather will change because uh, we wanna be out and about as much as we can and in nature, hiking and walking. And uh, I do believe that's gonna kick in more once we get into Spain. But uh, for now, let me show you Njort.
at all these vineyards or vines vines in the vineyards even I can smell the wine and tonight I'm gonna taste it better to harvest by hand and yes. stuff. Now, the quality is quite nice with, the, with my... I see my mom is uh, wanting to ring <laughs> some something. I disturb your visit, but yeah. sorry, but... Uh, yeah. Il y a les Canadiens aussi. Ah, Ils sont, sont euh, dans leur van, mais c'est road surfer. Road surfer, ouais. ok. Très bien, vous Ça pouvez va. les chercher. Voilà. <laughs> Good morning, welcome. Uh, a beautiful sunny day at the moment, although it did rain all of last night, so the ground is very wet and muddy outside. Um, we stayed at the uh, family run vineyard last night. I'm going to read this, it's called the Vignobles Pestery, and it's just outside a little place called Uvyak. Uvrak, something like that. I'll put links uh, in the uh, description below. But wow, what a beautiful evening. Got to meet obviously all of the other um, van lifers, motorhomes, camper vans that are here. I mean, I rocked up and I was the first one here just after two o'clock or just before two o'clock, in fact. And I thought it was just going to be me. And then within 40 minutes to an hour, about another eight. Um, various vehicle sizes turn up so it's quite a little party atmosphere actually we all went and had some wine tasting which obviously helped uh, relax people shall we say um sample dodd two sparkling a rosé and one two three four five red wines so uh soiko is demanding my attention down here <laughs> aren't you mister yes can you see him there he is look what? What do you want? You've got breakfast, got a coffee balancing in this hand, probably going to spill it in a minute. Um, so yeah, red wine, obviously good to just connect with people, talk to people where they're going, where they've been. Um, sampled the wines which were wonderful um, and of course had to buy a couple um, of the uh, the more 
full bodied reds, which is more to my, my taste, my liking. So where are we off to today? Um, we're heading towards Lourdes, um, which is just on the French side of the Pyrenees. Um, I don't think we'll do it all today because it's a four hour drive, which in the doctor is more like six hours. So we'll probably cut it into two. I'm not too sure where we're going to stop in the middle. I need to get on the app uh, park tonight. I had a look yesterday. To be fair, it's the first time I kind of like struggled to see something that jumped out and grabbed my attention. Oh, that would be nice, be it for wine tasting or be it that it'll be a great place potentially for Koa to run or that we can plug in with the electric, etc. You know, they've got services. I haven't found one yet. So maybe we'll have to take a slight detour. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee, get the van ready. Um, Mr. Koa has laid down, take him out for a quick run. He has already been out this morning. We was up very early. Um, and then, yeah, find out where we're going to go. Catch you soon. wonderful location we've woken up in in the middle of the pine forests at the municipal golf course just on the outskirts of the town of Lourdes so we are now at the foothills of the Pyrenees um, we're not going to do too much driving today yesterday was a bit of a nightmare drove far more than we intended to purely because we couldn't find anywhere that we liked um, the uh, locations I found on Park the Night just didn't, again, give us that feeling of being nice. So we moved on, we moved on, and we ended up driving like six hours, and that was never the plan. But anyway, it means today we're not doing any driving besides moving from here to the local supermarket, and then from the supermarket into town to do some exploring. Um, again, we might stay here for a couple of days. Um, we will see. But then, of course, the plan is to really get adventurous and head into the Pyrenees. So um, let's head off to the supermarket. Uh, I need to get some supplies, a couple of fuses, um, and then head into Lourdes because, looking online, it looks like it's got some stunning architecture. And we need to pick up another little Amazon delivery. So let's head off and see what Lourdes has to offer. Go on. Up, up. Let's go. Up, up. Up. Good boy. Okay, so we're heading into Lourdes. We've been to the train station. We've picked up a little Amazon parcel, which was just another two of those plastic shelves. They work so well. I got two more for the other side just to keep little knickknacks in. Stop them rolling around and I've got a little home. But uh, I have to say it was beautiful when we were driving here. I'm in shorts and t-shirt. It has clouded over, but I've got a, a jacket in my rucksack. But uh, I think more than ever, since this journey has begun, I feel like a tourist today. I don't know why, I don't know if you can see, but I really do feel like a uh, 
Merci. Just crossing the road whilst talking to you, sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like a tourist. Anyway, doesn't seem that busy, so let's head in and check out what's meant to be some amazing sights. So we're outside one of the main buildings I wanted to go and look at, which is the Basilica de Notre Dame de Rosaire. I'll pop the name on the screen. Uh, but guess what, no dogs. Uh, it's got huge grounds. So I'm looking behind the camera at the moment, there's a hill, maybe a little hike up and the drone out. Um, but definitely thinking I'll come back a bit later, put Co in the van for an hour and see if we can pop in, have a quick look around. So, I'm flying solo, I've just parked up, I've paid a tenner just because it's an official area, water, blah blah blah, no electricity but again, don't care, um, but I've had to leave Ko in the car, in the car, in the van, because as you know, uh, he's not allowed into the basilica area, the grounds, the grotto, etc, and I just think it's pointless to come to this town and not see the main attraction um, so I'm heading in on my own walking pretty quickly because I wouldn't like to leave him too long but I reckon I'll be what no more than an hour it's only a 10 minute walk quick shifty around get some footage for you guys and then back and the other disappointing thing I've just found out in the parking area that the bloody Irish bar doesn't open now this time of the year it only opens thursday friday saturday and i think sunday but not today so very disappointed because it looks like a really good pub and uh, apparently it's owned by an irish guy and a scottish woman who are married i just spotted a discotheque la bamba on the other side of the river but uh, we won't be going there right let's get to the basilica it's actually just started to spit with rain as well i even had to put on some long trousers and obviously a jacket because it's got a little bit chillier. We are at the, as I said, the foothills of the Pyrenees and there's loads of kids on little bikes. Not that I ever used to be one of them, of course not. Right, let's check out this basilica. Wow, the grounds of this place are huge. You almost probably need a day, at least half a day. Lots of tours going on. Obviously, this is the centerpiece of Lourdes. Wow, what a building. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, we can't get into the grotto as there's some kind of service going on, which is a shame. But uh, it's just an amazing place. Absolutely amazing. The history, just the feeling, it makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. The architecture, the frescoes, I mean, inside the basilica is just one of the best I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. So, uh, if you're ever at the foothills of the Pyrenees on the French side, definitely a trip to Lourdes. <laughs> Wow, that was a whistle stop tour. But uh, I mean, it's actually three different chapels. Obviously, you have the main central basilica and then two smaller chapels. Um, but yeah, what a building. And you can imagine in the evening when it's all lit up, they have concerts in the grounds in the summer. So, uh, like I said, if you're ever in the area, Lourdes foothills of the Pyrenees come and visit the town is beautiful there's a lot of amazing architecture um, it is one of these towns I guess it saddens me to say it that has uh, sold its soul to the devil slightly in terms of tourism there is just shop after shop after shop selling tourist tat basically and I have to admit some of the buildings are in quite a bad state of repair, quite a lot of derelict buildings. But uh, obviously what people come for, the highlights, they are out of this world and uh, it's definitely worth a stop. Right, what are we doing? We're spending the night here, as I think I've already told you. We're already parked up and get back to the van, take Koa for a walk and we might even come into town for dinner, not too sure. We'll see how the evening goes, because like I said, it has started raining. It's getting slowly heavier. So if it gets too much, we'll just stay in the van. We stocked up earlier, so we're good to go. So let's see what tonight brings. And then tomorrow at some point, I guess we'll be heading into the Pyrenees. Exciting times. Ay, 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 ay. This really hasn't gone to plan, has it? Um... As you will see from the footage, we have left Lourdes and as we knew we were going to do, we've made our way into the Pyrenees. But boy, has the weather been against us. It's just been raining, 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 heavier and heavier and heavier. Um, I mean, the footage probably looks like something from Gorillas in the Mist and it's such a shame because we traveled up through such beautiful scenery, even though the weather's bad, but obviously a lot of cloud cover. And there were so many gorges and waterfalls and you know Hansel and Gretel cottages and uh, hydroelectric power stations, reservoirs, waterfalls, I've already said that, I don't know. <laughs> just so much to see. And we just couldn't really film any of it, except for obviously the, the, the dash cam, um, because we were concentrating. Uh, the doctor obviously is not the most nimble vehicle in the world um, and I was thinking I was thinking to my overseas days you know in ski season oh it's it's raining in the valley it means there'll be snow on the mountain of course I knew that wasn't going to be the case because um, yeah it's too early and we're too low we're about 12.50 um, we are in a place called Salent de Gallego um, we're kind of like in the middle between Lourdes, obviously on the French side, and potentially going to Huesca on the Spanish side. But we are officially back in Spain. We did uh, cross the border on our journey up. But yeah, it's such a shame. And I mean, I, again, I had this vision in my head, you know, rolling meadows, the mountains, Coa, you know, bouncing like Bambi through the fields. And uh, he's sat here sleeping. It's miserable. I mean, just look outside the van. It's just rain, 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 rain. Um, and it's forecast for the whole day. There's no point in even getting out the van. Of course, I have got to, um, to take cover for a walk. So we'll have to get all of our rain gear on. But yeah, a little bit disappointing. Um, 
I mean, I don't know how long we're going to spend here. The weather looks better tomorrow. So if the weather does get better when we wake up, we will potentially spend another day or maybe just move to a new spot um, just to make use of being in the mountains before we start to go down again. Um, so let's see, but we are going to take a walk into town. I'm not taking the camera because it's raining, so there'll be no footage of that. I mean, there's two laundries in town. I want to do laundry, but again, I'm not carrying my laundry to find that they're closed. So we're going to have a little bit of an explore, a little bit of investigation, and maybe that's another reason to stay tomorrow um, for not only walking with Koa, hopefully, because it looks like there's an amazing hike, just 25 minutes uh, through the village, but we do need to do laundry. And where we are, again, full services, it was a tenner, um, it's a new motorhome stop. Everything is done via an app. It's absolutely amazing. Dump all your waters, fill up, um, electric, the full kit and caboodle. So um, we're gonna have a walk, but you're not gonna see it, I'm afraid. So we will catch you in a little bit. Cover. Cool, huh? 